<laughs> no, no before you before you go go pretty catchy little name someone else has probably done it as well uh, so what I'm going to talk to you about is camera gear um, so I mean I'm, I'm a tech geek like really bad um, and so I brought along a whole host of cameras to test out um, one of them being the one I'm using right now is the Drift Ghost. Now, the Drift Ghost is the perfect camera for your Central America trip. There, um, I'm not going to give you any uh, rave reviews about their customer service. However, if you get the Drift Ghost and get, um, I would get a few of them. Uh, not a few, not a few Drift Ghosts, but. Um, one Drift Ghost and also the helmet mount and also about three of the microphones, uh, the lapel mics. I tried a whole heap of other ones with it and they all didn't work. So maybe they've done some sort of trick where you've got to buy theirs, I don't know. But it's really the only one that's got a you know, pretty reasonable setup for the, as far as the mic goes. And it took me about three months to get it, uh, the lapel. It wasn't available when I first got the Drift. Anyway, so I've got the, I've, for my helmet cam, I've got my Drift Ghost S. They've got a 4K version coming, but I don't care. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I, I, I don't record in, uh, I, I won't record in 4K anyway, because it's just too big a file size for, not, well, unless the camera's amazing, but, you know, the, the, the light sensor on these is not going to get you a huge amount of up, except for file size. Uh, for the for if you get the 4k but anyway so yeah you know during the daytime you can shoot at pretty high frame rates but if you're going to use this drift ghost you want to use uh, lower frame rates for shooting at night or in low light conditions it's not that great at that I've also got uh, a GoPro I've got a couple of GoPros with me and I've because uh, I've got the air dog drone I've only taken I've only used it about three or four times uh, and I only use it for a couple of minutes each shot, that's it. I'll use it some more once I get through Ecuador and get into some open spaces. Um, so I've got a couple of GoPro 4s. Again, one of the worst, the worst company for software on the planet and the worst company for, um, for not giving a shit about their customers. Uh, and it's come, the chickens have come home to roost for GoPro. Uh, They've got away with it by being the clear-cut favourite as far as cameras go. But now they've got competition everywhere. They've got the the Olympus Tough TG Tracker, which is a fantastic camera, especially in low light condition and uh, low light and wet weather conditions. I think it kicks the uh, GoPro's ass, uh, especially in wet weather. The lens just doesn't seem to get any water on it and doesn't fog. So. Great camera. I, I got it. I brought one of those with me as well. Um, so I've got the GoPro Hero 4. I won't buy, bother buying the 5. Not that big a step up. Um, I mean, nearly everyone's got the GoPro. The reason why I, I wouldn't use a GoPro on the helmet is because you're shooting a lot of porous type, type neighbourhoods when you're going to be shooting. Uh, and really, it, any GoPro with the mounts for the cameras just stands out like dog's balls, you know, and it just looks, you know, I just don't think it's a good thing to do, um, you know, you, you're shooting poor people, you want to get those shots, you don't want to feel bad about it, the Drift Ghost just sits nicely against the camera, you hardly even notice it's there, while the GoPro sticks out, as I said, like dog's are balls. Um, the other camera I got, and, and it's been the big surprise of my trip, is the Samsung Gear 360. Now, um, it is just a great camera. And, and, it, and it's the first company that actually got stuff right. Um, it's not perfect. The, the, I, I think the second and third versions of it are going to be phenomenal. But what's so great about it is, like, I've got a RAM mount here. You can see it sticking out. Okay. I've got a car coming up on the inside. I might take this. The power of the KTM 1290. Just whenever you need it, just bang. It's on tap. 
Um, so I got the ram out. I just I just stick a tripod on there, like a like a um, not a tripod, but just a it's like a selfie stick, but it's got. A, and then I put the camera on the end of it. I shoot the video. As soon as I've shot the video, I download it to my phone. It takes about 10 minutes to download for every gigabyte. Um, it's a 360 camera. And then all I do once it's on my phone, I just trim it and upload it. Bang, it's done. <laughs> what the, you know, that's you know, I've shot probably about 50, 60 videos with it because it's so much, it's so easy to use, it's so much fun. I've right now with my Drift Ghost because I had problems with my laptop. I've got about 300 videos I haven't uploaded. And I didn't have any sound with them, so they're gonna, I'm only going to cut them into shorts just to, to use later on, because I didn't have the, the, the microphone. So there you have it. I'm pretty sure, I think that's all my cameras. And I've also got my Samsung Galaxy S uh, Edge. Uh, and my, I've got two phones with me. I've got three actually. I've got a dummy phone if, I can, if, if uh, somebody wants to steal something. I have a dummy phone as well. Um, so, now as far as mounting the cameras, I mean, you, you, you guys can get the kits you want. Um, but RAM mounts in the US and Australia is probably the only game in town. Uh, they're great mounts. Um, they are, they're, they're way too expensive. But they are really good mounts. And I've got, a, I've got a whole range of little accessories so I can hang it off the back of the bike on the front. Um, I mean, this is a RAM mount. They've got a charger thing called a GDS technology. It's complete shit. I brought it with me and my phone was losing more battery power than it was charging. And it, it's patent pending. So I hope they get the fucking patent because it's useless and worthless. Um, yeah, so I just got rid of that and just used the normal RAM thing for, and I've just got the speakers. They have these little, uh, if you can see, they have these little knobs you get with this um, little rubber tips and they must sell a fortune of them because they get they come flying off and I had and um, and somebody stole three of them off my bike so I just left it on there and someone just took the tips off it so someone obviously had a ram mount with the tip thing and just needed the tips and stole them from me I've had two t twice people try to steal things from me once they tried to st I caught the guy he was halfway through taking my number plate off and the other one I didn't catch them, that was the, 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 the chips. Um, and I bought 12 with me and I've got I've got four left but I don't even know if I'm going to put them back on. I might just leave it. Now it's starting to rain a little bit. So anyway, that's the camera, camera and the gear. Um, look, you, you, you say, oh, you're going to, you know, you see all these guys and they've got shots of them coming, these solo travellers, they've got shots of them coming around the corner, stuff like that. I mean, I'd love to do that because it looks pretty cool. But the problem is, I've got to—you've got to ride up to the corner, set up the camera, get it going, then you ride back, and then ride around as if you're just riding and somebody's shooting you. It's a little bit wanker, you know. We had a character in, a, in Australia, a Paul Hogan character, on a Paul Hogan show, which is Leo Wanker. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so. I've got a lot of footage and hopefully I'll have some really cool stuff at the end of the trip I can put together in a one big video. I'm not going to make a documentary or anything, but I just want to do a 10, 15 minute video of all of my favourite sites. Every year I do a video at the end of the year, which is already here, um, on all the people and places I've, and, and I've travelled to for the year, but I'm going to be late this year. Um, but yeah, uh, so there you go guys. Uh, the, these are the cameras. Uh, the, my number one recommended camera is the uh, is the Samsung Gear 360, and make sure you can get a mounting kit to put on your uh, put on your bike with the RAM mounts. Um, the, the Drift Ghost S for the for the for the helmet cam. Come on, guys, and. Uh, I've got the Tough TG Tracker, which I can put, I put on, I've taken a few videos with that, and it's also 100% waterproof as well.
So there you go. Thanks, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, just leave a message and I'll get back to you soon.